slowly through turns three and four. Field bunched up nicely. It's Tyler Reif and Sean Hingarani out of turn four. There's that restart line. Green flag up. It's time to rock, roll, and rumble here at Evergreen Speedway. Field streaming down the back stretch. Look at that jump that Tyler Reif gets over Sean Hingarani. The top two have stretched out a little bit of an advantage over that battle for third and fourth. As we come to complete lap one, Tyler Reif will lead off a of turn four to complete lap one. The lapped car of David Smith directly in his way. What's going to happen here? Erickson going to thread the needle. Down, to, ooh, both of them go way up the racetrack. And here comes Jacob Smith in the 41 car. He's going to stack them three wide. Nascimento going to come away with that position. And I'll tell you what, folks, that could be one of our candidates for the Reese's sweet move of the race. Pretty racy. And look at this. Speaking about racy, here comes Sean Hingarani. He's going to open the door. And look to the inside. Ingarani will take the lead off of turn four to complete lap 56. So first lead change of the night. And he's been putting some pressure on. Very patiently sitting back there in second position. Once all the lead lap cars have come across the start finish line right there. We'll put the caution flag out. And that is the first caution flag of the night. 70 plus 80 is 150. I'm like Bob Jenkins, folks. My math skills are not great. That's why I talk for a living. All right, coming back to green. Sean Hingarani gets the jump on Cole Raz. And here comes Tyler Reif. Reif to the inside of Cole Raz down into turns one and two. And Reif will take over that second spot. And again, we talked about it at the top of the show. Tire conservation is gonna be key. We've got some fresh general tires on all of these race cars and look at Landon Lewis shoving his way underneath Tanner Reif. How early do you wanna get what you can get out of these? Oh, we've got some problems down into turn one and Tanner Reif is into the outside wall. Last year's winner has made contact with the turn one wall and that puts us under the caution flag for the second time tonight. Wow, a lot of sparks from the right front corner of that car. Not going to turn, and pow! Hard contact for Tanner Reif down into turn one. Tough, tough break. Had spent most of, if not all, of the opening half of this race in the top five. And it all goes away here just after the halfway break. And you can kind of see, just based on the body language, not too happy. Let's take another look at that replay. And there you see right about the time they get to the start finish line, those sparks come out from underneath the right front. So that whether it was a tire or a suspension failure, in any case, problems with the right front corner and nothing he could do at that point. Tyler, excuse me, Tanner. Uh, just absolutely a passenger. Sean Hingarani has to be the first one to the restart line. And that line is off of turn four. Actually, a little bit of a ways down off of turn four. And indeed, Hingarani gets to that restart line first. Go Contreras with the green flag back in the air, and we'll see what happens down into one on this restart. Ingarani going to get the jump on Tyler Reif. Reif going to try to settle into that second position. And here comes Landon. Ingarani down the back stretch. He will be looking at the white flag this time around. Final circuit here at Evergreen Speedway. Sean Ingarani off of turn four. Looking at the white flag from Joe Contreras. No pressure from behind. He's going to let those lap cars in front of him have all the room they need. Sean Hingarani cleanly down the back stretch and into turns 
three and four for the final time. And for the fourth time this season, Sean Hingarani will pick up the win. Hingarani goes to victory lane here at Evergreen.